All right, Shalom, I'm Mike. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekai Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the positive elders, great millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches the word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today, I just want to tie this lesson. You can't change the fate of America. You can't change the fate of America. You know, because as you read through the scriptures, pretty much, when it talks about Babylon, it pretty much talks about it being destroyed in its past tense, you know, on certain scriptures, man. Matter of fact, let's get one real quick. Let's get some real quick. Let's see, Revelation 18, which, if you, you know, you know about this chapter. It's talking about America, man. You know, so this Revelation 18, and um, I started on... Um, one, it said, after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. See? So, it didn't say it's fallen, or it's about to fall. It said it's fallen. Meaning what? That's past tense, man. It already out. Now, we just, let, we just it's playing out now, man. You know, when, when the prophet seen the discretion that mean it already am, man. How can you see something and then they, and they haven't happened yet? It, it already hell. It just got to play out now on the earth, man. See what I mean? That's just like a movie. If you if you already if you you went to you going to the movies to see the movie, well, guess what? The movie was already it was already written. It was already played out. But now you going to the movies to look at it now, man. And this this what we doing now. Now we sitting back and this is the best movie ever, man. You know? This is the best movie ever, man. You know what I mean? It says, um, it said Babylon the Great is falling, is falling, and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit in a in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So pretty much <coughs> <coughs> So like you. This is this is the um, world largest desert, man. You know, but the point is, is that it's not like you go to, you, um, this, this is finna be changed. This is finna be reneged. No, man. Because this is the words of the Lord. The words of the Lord don't return back void, man. Matter of fact, let's get something real quick. Numbers 23. And, um, in 19. So like it. <clears throat> so like it. Numbers 23 and 19. The Most High is not a man that he should lie. Neither is the Son of Man that he should repent. See? See, the Lord ain't going to say nothing and then tell you it's a lie. No. That's why the Lord, Yahweh was shy. He was like, uh, my father had many mansions. If it were not so, I would have I told you. So, meaning what? Why he got to lie for? You know? He telling you what it is, man. It says... Have he said, and shall he not do it? Now, how does the Lord saying it through his prophets, man? He's saying it through his prophets. It says, it says, or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? See, the Lord going on our words because we speak in his words. Every statement that we make, we bag it up with a priest's help, man. That's why the scripture said, <coughs> let the most high be true, and every man a liar, man. You know, and that's what you're seeing now. You're seeing the most high is true, man. You see these words coming to pass, man. And the ice on the cage of discretion, you can't do nothing about it, man. You know, let's see, uh, what's that? Um, Jeremiah 51 and um, and eight, it said Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. See. See, he's his past tense again. How for her, take bone for her pain. If so, she, if so be, she may be healed. <laughs> in this uh, in this place, America, have been struck with a deadly blow, man. You know, first and foremost, the, the prophet's out. So they let you know that uh, they let you know that it's a countdown to discretion, man. They let you know the king. <coughs> Like you, that lets you know the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. You know, 
I let you know the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Why? Well, because the prophet's out. That means this kingdom about to fall. You know? It says, uh, and, and then, you know, you see the money finna crash. The people fucked up. You know? Everything is, 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 is not finna bounce back, man. There's a thing called the new normal now. Why is that? Because ain't nothing finna bounce back, man. You know, it said we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go, everyone, into his own country. Meaning what? Everybody's returning. <coughs> it's, um, it's leaving this American lifestyle, man. <coughs> they see that the ways of America is death, man. You know, the, even these other countries, they realize they women's out of control now. They're like, damn, you know, McDonald's, man. What the fuck we got to McDonald's over here, man? You know, and even us, we, we come back to our own heritage, man. You know, even though it says they come to their own country, yeah, these other nations, they're going back to their own country. But they're leaving the American lifestyle, they're going back to their, their, their lifestyle, their culture. Especially us, man. It said, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is, is lifted up even to the skies. So this, this bitch is finna go down, man. It's like right now, this place is on, on, on ICU, man. I see you, man. You know? And you can't do nothing about it. When the Lord sent the hit out on this place, guess what? He's going to carry it out, man. You know, matter of fact. <clears throat> I think that's Jeremiah. I think that's Jeremiah. I see. Jeremiah 30 and 24. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it. And what appeases the wrath of the Lord, man? The anger of the Lord, discretion, death, those spirits that created for vengeance, those different entities, fire, hells, the sword. That's going to appease the wrath of the Lord, man. You know, it says, And until he have performed the intents of his heart, in the latter days he shall, he shall consider it. So the Lord is going to perform the intents of his heart, meaning what? These scripts are gonna be made manifest, man. Cause this is the this is just a snippet of the Lord's mind, man. This is a snippet of the, that's why I said who have known the mind of Mashiach. Yeah, this 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 is part of right here, the scriptures, man. You know, so the intents of the Lord's heart is these scriptures being made manifest, man. And what is that one thing that's finna be is made manifest? This the discretion of America, man. It's gonna happen, man. You know, even the build up to it, all hell breaking loose, all turmoil, you know, the stress, famine, plagues, war, uh, all types of race war, civil war, class wars, you know, cannibalism, all these things are coming. Then the icing on the cake, the fire, man. Yeah, you know I mean, as a matter of fact, I ended off on this. I can, because, like I said, you, you can't do nothing about. Uh, you know, prophecy can't be, can't be compromised, man. Prophecy can't be compromised. Let's see. Let's see if I can find this. Saying, oh, I can't. This is it right here. This is um, Revelation 16 and 17. It said, and some angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a voice out of the temple of heaven from, from the throne saying, it is done. See, and we know that that that, that, that some angel is the, the discretion, man. That represents the, the, the discretion, man. And he's saying it is done. It's not like he, he poured half out and came back to the Lord. Lord, I ain't pour all of it. No. That whole vow has been poured out. And he said it is done. Meaning what? It, it, look. Why is this even written? Why is it? I'm about to do it. I'm, I'm about to. No, it said it is done, man. Meaning what? It's all, this, this place... It's, it's already a desert spiritually. It's about to happen uh, physically as well, man. Yeah, you know I mean, it matter of fact, continue on. It says, and there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as not since was the, uh, men were on the, upon the earth so mighty an earthquake and so great. See, so you gonna have the, the fire from the chariots and the fire from from the missiles, man, and that's what's gonna cause this great earthquake, man. You know. And, th and this is what's going to happen, man. It's not like you can try to come up with a formula and go back in time. And No, man. It, it, it already happened. You know, now we're playing it. Now it's playing out. When you went to watch 
the Avengers and Game. Well, guess what? They already have them. Now you just watching it now. You know? Just, okay, I want to say in theaters Friday. Well, that's when it's going to be made manifest. You know? That's when you can watch it. And now we in a time where we see these things being made manifest, man. You know, but that's pretty much it. I get hold of edifying. I want to give all praise, honey, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, Shah, by Shem Kakodash. Double honor to the positive of the great millstone, Shalom, to the elect that sees word, how true faith, sincerity, DTA, abide the bomb.